welcome back to All Frame Games. My name is Chris, and we are back with Butterfly Soup. And I got to be completely honest, everybody in this game is a nerd. And I do so love me some nerds. They're dorks. She's, I, I don't know about her, but Noelle's a dork. Thea's a dork. Min's a very angry, tiny dork. Akasha is something. And, you know, it's cool. I like it. I don't know. It's just... There's one thing about visual novels that I really do enjoy. And the fact that it... You have to be able to convey... Character. Using only text. It's... It's a skill that you don't quite normally see in video games. Especially since you have things like this. It helps that they have a character, you know, model. But... It's fun and it's easy. Plus, I get to make up all these random voices that I would probably never get to use otherwise. So, yeah, like Darth Mom. <laughs> Noel, you're up to bat. Noel grudgingly steps up to the plate. I, I hate sports. Why? Why am I here? Akasha is pitching. She raises her eyebrow as Noel as she at Noel as she winds up. Hey, hey, wake up. What? Wake up, Frenchman. You're in a coma. I, I am not. You are trying to confuse me and failing. Akarsha pitches the ball. Swing at the ball. Through sheer luck, Noel manages to hit the ball. It pops straight up. Noel runs for the first base with the agility of an old man with two broken legs. I got it. Krissa. Krissa. Krissa? Krissa. 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 Catches it in her mitt. The runner, already on first base, gives Noelle a strange look when she runs up to it. Noelle, you're out. Stop running, it's embarrassing. No, oh, wait, that's not Min's voice. Yeah, whatever. What? Why? She caught it, genius. Yeah, but, but, so, why? Why can't I run? How come the runner on first isn't out? The rules of this game are very incomprehensible. Oh, it's okay. Nice try. I, I don't need praise for failing. I'm not stupid. Noel grabs a mitt and joins Dia on the other on the other side of the field. We're taking turns batting. Everyone who isn't a batter or runner is defending on the field. It feels so odd to be doing this. I keep half expecting someone to hol holler at me to get off. Suddenly, Dia swerves back to avoid a bee flying at her face. Did that bee just sting you? Come back here, you bitch bee, bee coward. I'm gonna fuck you up. Min is so angry. Min moves indigently between Dia and the bee. She's trying to protect Dia from the bee. Min throws a punch at the offending bee. Min, the puncher of bees is here to protect Dia, her one true wove. And yes, that is wove with a W, W-U-V. After silently watching a few a few fruitless swings, Dia takes off her hat and strikes the bee midair with a with the bill of her cap. It falls on the ground, dead. Min beams at her with pure adoration in her eyes. When did you move back? About two weeks ago. Wow, if, if if we had any classes together, we'd have crossed paths any sooner, way sooner. Any sooner. Uh, does Junseo go here now too? No, nah, no, nah, he's at a different school. He, uh, he goes to Niles. It's an easier, less Asian school. Why would your parents put you in different schools? No, uh, no, nah, nah, they didn't. I, I see, I originally went there too. But I got expelled. <laughs> expelled? Uh, how was Florida? You're not gonna ask about the expelled part? Oh, it was horrible. It sucked. They don't have boba places there. I, I had to drink milkshakes. Boba. Oh, the little, the little, uh, the little things with the, the stuff at the bottom. The little jelly stuff. Is that right? Probably not. I don't know. Uh, what the? That, uh, that's crazy. 
And everyone was white. All white. The sea of whiteness. Scary. Uh, are white people that bad? Uh, they do pull... They do shit like pull their eyes and slits and go ting chong ting tong. Or go back to China. I'm not even Chinese. I had to get so good at beating people up. Yeah. What the heck? That that sounds like a cartoon. I thought racism was over. Oh, bored. It, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, dear. I too wish racism was over. But people are idiots. So one day. Eh, well. We'll see. And me too. Uh, but they showed us that cartoon every year in class where they said, where they time traveled to win their segregation. And what happened? Huh? Beats me. The next batter strikes out. Liz, who's acting as a catcher, returns the ball to Akarsha. Akarsha fumbles it and drops it on the mound. Everyone watching disapproving, dis everyone watches disapprovingly as she scrambles to pick it back up. That was an illusion. A trick of the light. No, no, we clearly saw you mess up. It's Dia's turn to bat now. Dia hits the pitch with a downright scary amount of force. The ball shoots over everyone's head and lands in a tree in the distance, causing several startle, cr startle crows to flap out. <laughs> yeah! Whose side are you on? We're, we're supposed to be on the... the... <coughs> I'm dying. Give me a second. We're supposed to be on the defense. Let me get something to drink. Okay, okay. But you have to admit that that was sick. Nice one, dear. Exclamation points. It's Min's turn now at the plate. She immediately grabs the heaviest bat she can. They have. Uh, Min Seo, are you sure you want to use that? We have other bats that are closer to your... Uh, nah, this one's fine. She hasn't even tried the other ones. Uh, but in general, people your size should use the 31 inch. No, I'm not some weakling. On the mound, Akarsha paces back and forth as Min squares up in the batter's box. Are you trying to psych me out? I bet you can't eat five crayons. Oh yeah, bet I can. No eating crayons while the club is in session, please. Just later. Do it later. Actually, Noel, how about you try pitching now? It's been a while since we switched. Uh, me? Noel switches places with a car shot on the mound. Bring it, you weak bitch! Uh, wh what are you insulting me for? We're on the same side now. Doi. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have a pause. I'm gonna have to pause here because I'm keep having to take a drink. Um, if you've stumbled upon this channel by now, you know I do. I I've also done Doki Doki. In fact, you probably found Doki Doki and then found Butterfly Soup. But I digress. I will say one thing. Doki Doki had almost segmented sections where I was talking to one person, uh, talking as one person non-stop and then the another person would come up for a period of time and then back and forth. At most I think there was a one or two times where I, everybody was talking but they only ever had five characters. <laughs> Butterfly Soup, however, has more and the characters themselves are so varied and variety um i do apologize if some of the voices are starting to mi mix and mingle together i record all of these blind i d i have not played this game 
you and I are exactly at the same exact spot on the game. So because I'm reading it blind and there's so many characters, I'm simply reading the name and what's there as fast as possible that makes it sound coherent. You can see where the, some problems may arise. So again, I do apologize. Just, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. But I'm taking a break. So, so yeah. <clears throat> huh. No, we're not. What the heck are you talking about? Wait, hold on, hold on. Don't baseball pitchers pitch to their own team? <laughs> no. Everyone is shooting. Everyone is shooting Noel. Appalled looks. No, 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 no. See, you pitch against the enemy. It's the pitcher's goal not to let the batter get on base. Yeah. Also, I have no idea what to do with Chris's voice. She seems like the most stable, but I mean, and yes, I do mean stable. Uh, she seems the most, most stable, but also the most bland because she hasn't really had too many active roles outside of telling somebody what to do. I don't know. It will get to her eventually. Or just not. And, well, whatever. Oh, uh, I see. So oh, so that's why they pitch at such high velocity. It's So it's harder for the batter to hit a touchdown. Uh, Noel, have you ever watched a baseball game before? Can you even name a single baseball team? Uh, I, okay, I, I know that two of these are real. The San Francisco 49ers are, are they a baseball team? Yeah, well. Uh, the A's? Krissa looks immensely relieved, and I'll, I'll be honest, I was actually hoping that it, the A's were not one. I thought they were, but I was hoping they weren't. Bravo, bravo. Um, if you had failed that, I probably would have started crying. Damn it. Can I, can I go back? Uh, the 49ers? Krissa looks like she's about to cry. Uh, Noel, that's, um, that's a football team. Is it? Well, how was I supposed to know? They're all pretty much the same. Min squares up at the batter's box. I shall throw the ball. Noel throws the ball with all of her might. It flops back down to the grass, not even halfway to Min. <laughs> what the hell was that? That throw was so soft. Nobody ordered ice cream. Noel, get it together. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. I guess we'll count you. I'll, I guess we'll count that as a ball. Uh, what? You didn't throw into the strike zone. If you miss, it's a ball. If you throw four four balls before the batter strikes out, the batter goes to first base for free. Uh, where's the strike zone exactly? It starts at the midpoint between the the top of the batter's shoulder and the top of the pants. Right here, yeah, strike zone. At the top of their pants. What? Huh? The top of the pants is right here. This is the leg. The bottom line is a hollow beneath the kneecap. Uh, what happens if you're wearing a skirt? Does it default to the nearest pair of pants you own? You have to be wearing proper uniform uniform pants to play official games. Weirdo. That's the rule. That's the rules about that. So, so if we want to throw a game, but in a subtle way, all we have to do is put our pants up really high, like, like to our armpits. That, that's not subtle at all. Which one was Yuki again? Uh, assuming we play this regular way, don't short people just naturally have a small, a smaller batting zone? Since their bodies are smaller. Yeah, yeah, it, it takes more precision to strike them out. Uh, by the way, the measurements are based on the batter's stance, not while they're standing straight up. Knowing, knowing that, 
can't we just reduce the batting uh, batting zone volume to zero by squatting down? In in way that way, if any pitch uh, they throw becomes a ball. Uh, I okay. I don't know if there's a rule against that, but if you do something too weird, it'd be considered poor sportsmanship. If it feels like the other person aren't playing fair, it won't be fun anymore. The umpire would probably stop you too. Whenever something's not explicitly outlined in the rules, it's his call. Okay, are we done explaining things now? Can we play the baseball? Sure, sure, sir. I think we uh, covered all the bases. Aha, get it? Get it? Nobody? You all suck. I will not laugh. Noel doesn't laugh. That was horrible. Grissa looks disappointed by Noel's cold rejection at her joke. <laughs> uh, my joke is a swing and a miss. I better pitch the ball before she says any more. I have found Chris's voice. Okay, no, I haven't. But whatever. Noel hurls the ball with all of her might. It plops down in the grass in the exact same spot as the last time. Dio raises her hand and looks at Krista expectantly, like she's waiting to be called on. Uh, yes, you can talk, you know, you you don't have to do that. Uh, so Noelle doesn't have enough upper body strength to throw it that far. Uh, you know, yeah, that's, that's a bit of a problem. And no matter what position she plays, she's gonna have to throw it that far at some point. Well, good thing I'm not joining this stupid club then. Problem solved. All right, whatever, just pitch for now. Noel hands the ball over to Krista and joins Akarsha and Dia back in the field. As Noel jogs up to them, Akarsha plucks a dandelion from the grass and presents it to her. If you were a flower, you'd be a damned lion. This is literally a weed. Akarsha tries to blow the dandelion seeds into Noel's eyes. Stop that. Min smacks uh, Chris's pitch on the ground and takes off running. Dia tears after it with a look of a dog chasing a squirrel. She scoops it up and throws it to Akarsha, who's manning first base now. I got it, I got it, I got it. Akarsha tries to catch it, but ends up knocking the ball away with the tip of her glove. Akarsha, you need to work on your catches. Huh? Why? You dropped the ball. What? No, no. That wasn't me. It totally wasn't me. That was totally you. Everyone saw. Incredible. That must be my uh, lookalike from another dimension. You briefly glimpsed, glimpsed a parallel universe where Kasha didn't catch the ball. But now you've crossed back over in the reality where I did catch it. That explains the memory discrepancy. It's the only logical explanation. Or you messed up and just won't admit it. Min manages to round the bases and scores thanks to Akarsha's mistake. Akarsha, you're up to bat. I'm ready. Akarsha twirls the bat behind her the bat behind her back, squats down for no reason, and hops several times like a frog before springing back up in a dramatic pose. She going to do that every single time she goes up to bat? Knowing her, yes. It's my signature. You don't need a signature. Watch out. Huh? Agarsha batted a ball straight at Noelle. Noelle flails her, flails her arms in a panic, attempting to catch the ball, which is obviously going to work exactly as it planned. She misses it. Carissa does nothing. She's still sulking because Noelle didn't laugh at her joke. Damn it! I should have laughed. Ha ha ha! Oops. Uh, that was. Ghost? It wasn't a ghost! 
It's Min's turn to pitch now. Krista hands the ball over to her and heads over to the plate to bat. Whenever you're ready. There's a lot of stuff going on very quickly in this in this game. It's interesting. I am losing my place very quickly. The fielders are backing up. Chris is even taller than Dia, so she looks like she could hit it pretty far. Min clutches the ball in a claw-like grip. And I'll be honest, that does look badass. Look at that pose. Look at it! She brings her arm back and forward. She brings her back arm. She brings her arm back and forward hard over the top and lets go. As the ball approaches the plate, it does a little hop like a hiccup. Crystal looks weirded out. She doesn't swing. The flutter is just enough to throw Liz off. The ball glances off the side of her glove and bounces off her kneecap. What the? <laughs> it's kind of creepy, isn't it? Seeing the ball coming at you without spinning. Yeah, yeah, it was like just floating angrily at me. Uh, I couldn't tell the difference. It looked normal to me. Liz returns the ball to Min. Min clutches it the same, in the same messed up looking grip, rears up, and lets another pitch go. Go. <clears throat> Krissa misses it by a foot. It's a pitch you couldn't hit without a tennis racket. Liz has to twist it to a weird angle to stop the ball in the dirt. A knuckleball, huh? What's that? It's a rare pitch thrown with nearly no spin, so its path is unpredictable. Oh, I get it, I get it. You're making this up as an excuse for why you missed. I'm not making this up, and yes, I'll be honest, it probably is. It operates the same pr principle as a float serve in a volleyball. As a float serve in a volleyball. Or a knuckleball or a knuckleball in soccer, if you know that, which we, I don't. I know this is volleyball ish terms. Not really. Uh I don't know either of those. Okay, okay. Uh so when you pitch a ball normally, it spins like like crazy. Uh some somewhere around ten times on the way to plate. Just like a spin it will give the ball stability as it moves. If you can learn if you learn to throw a ball with minimal spin, its instability will give it an unpredictable trajectory. It starts behaving in a chaotic system like the weather. And that's great because a lot of sports mastery is just recognizing situ situations. Everyone says to keep your eye on the ball, but it's actually impossible to do that due to the limitations of the human reaction. What good hitters actually do is anticipate the ball's flight path based on cues they recognize from being in a similar situation before in the past. In other words, they don't see the ball. They just guess its trajectory. Ah, but uh, they can't do that against a knuckleball? That's right, that's right. A knuckle's trajectory is drastically different each time it's pitched. So no matter how good you are, there's no way to reliably hit it. Thrown correctly, it moves so erratically that it's, impo it's impossible to hit except through sheer luck. Her name is Sakura. I keep forgetting that. that Sakura and Yuki has the quotations mark, so that's not their real name. Or is it? Um, but yeah. I, I still can't tell if you're making this up or if it's an excuse for why you suck. No, it's real. Yeah, but you couldn't catch it, so it's also a convenient excuse for you. If it is real, then why doesn't everyone use it? Sounds practically game-breaking. Uh, well, for one, a knuckleball is one of the hardest pitches to throw in baseball, if not the hardest. Put a little bit too much spin on the ball or throw it in just a little too fast, and you're basically serving up a meaty practice pitch that'll get hit, in the, hit out of the park. And even at its best, a knuckler is a double-edged sword. Batters can't hit it, but that also means pitchers can't control it, and catchers can't catch it. When thrown right, even Min has no, no idea where it's going. They say throwing a knuckleball for a strike is like throwing a butterfly into a mailbox across the street. Even in the big leagues, catchers hate it. And if I let, let it get past me, it can lead to the batter or runner up being at base advancing. With the knuckleballer pitching, the catcher is focused so hard on stopping it that the runner runners on base will have an easier time stealing. It's a big pain. So, uh, so basically, it's hard to throw. The, it's it's hard to throw right, 
It's hard to control even when you do it right, and it's punishing if you miss. <laughs> Pretty much. Nobody trusts it. Knuckleball is a picture of someone with nothing left to lose. And, uh, and that's us, yes. We can try things that no coach in their right mind would ever risk, but no one expects anything from us. So we might as well take advantage of that, right? Even if we don't win a single game, at least we'll have fun. Fun? What kind of nonsense is this? Krissa strikes out. And with that, I'm actually going to leave it uh, here today. It's This one got a little long and a wordy and very metaf metaphorical and stuff. Because obviously a knuckleballer is, is the exact metaphor for men and their situation and stuff and everything. I like the subtext. I got to stop it here, though. Anyways, if you enjoy the content, leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I know that sometimes the voices are starting to run together. I'm working on it. Kind of. Anyways, I will get better. Maybe in time. I There's a reason. There's a reason why I play games that are one. I, I play multiple games, both the visual novels and the thing. It's because I'm working on this. I'm working. Anyways, if you enjoy the content, leave a like, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button. I will be back tomorrow. Later.